Hi folks, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to talk about four solutions that can help you fix unresponsive touch screen after updating to iOS 14 on your iPhone or iPad. Just in case the touch screen seems to be completely frozen and it just doesn't seem to be working, then these tips can prove to be really handy. So let's try them out. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel so that you won't miss any update from us. Now, the very first thing that I would recommend you to do is to ensure that the screen guard that you have installed on your iPhone is working normally and it is responsive to the touch. Due to dust, and smudge many screen guards become unresponsive after a while and they just do not seem to work normally so make sure that the screen guard is working as expected just in case the screen guard seems to have become unresponsive then remove it and then clean the screen of your device once you have removed the screen guard and clean the screen check out if the touch screen of your iPhone has started to work normally. If it has, then you are ready to go. Now, the next solution that I would suggest to you to try out is to force restart your device. Force restart a hard reset is considered to be a go-to solution, especially when fixing common issues like crashing or freezing of the screen so give it a shot as well to force restart your iphone you know 8 or later like iphone se iphone 10 iphone 11 or later you have to press and quickly release the volume up button then press and quickly release the volume down button and then you have to press and hold the side button until apple logo appears on your iphone 7 or 7 plus you have to press and hold the side button and volume down button at once until apple logo shows up on your iphone 6s iphone se first gen or earlier you have to press and hold the home button and side button at once until apple logo appears once your iphone has you know rebooted check out if you have sorted out the unresponsive screen if you have then it's time to read yours now the third solution that I would recommend you to give a shot is to reset all settings. More often than not, it comes to the rescue, especially when fixing complex issues or weird issues. So try it out as well. Launch settings app, then scroll down and tap on general, then scroll down and tap on reset, and then tap on reset all settings, enter your passcode, and then confirm by hitting reset all settings keep in mind that it will wipe out all the existing settings of your device and reset them to factory defaults but both or not all of your data and media will remain safe now if none of the solutions have worked then it's time to restore the iPhone using computer. Keep in mind that it will wipe out all the existing data of your device. So do not forget to back up your device beforehand. So back up everything that you have, right? Once you have backed up your device, then connect it to your computer. On your Mac running macOS Catalina or later you have to use Finder and on your Mac running macOS Mojave or earlier or if you have PC running Windows then you have to use iTunes. So connect your device to your computer and then launch Finder or iTunes. After that you have to select your device and hit restore backup. 
after that you have to select the most recent backup and then hit restore to start restoring your device once your device has restored then check out if you have sorted out the unresponsive screen issue if you have then you are ready to go if you are still struggling to fix the problem the screen might be damaged and in this case you must contact a trusted iphone repair center i would recommend you to contact apple support for help to you know get your touch screen fixed or get it replaced if you have found this guide helpful then do like it and share it